Hi, this is Lee Garrett. Welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. Note-taking applications seem to be really trendy and in vogue at the moment. This last year has seen improvements to existing applications as well as new kids on the block appearing, trying to muscle in on space. That's actually a bit of a play on words because very much like Notion, an application that we covered in video 871, I'm covering an app today that is a block-based notes creator and that's Craft. Now, Craft was released on iPhone, iPad and the Mac in November of last year and is already proving to be very popular with a wide variety of people because of its simple yet aesthetically pleasing approach to note taking. So I thought I'd take a look and see if it merited a screencast of its own and it definitely does. So let's take a look. OK, so I'm here on the craft.do web page with a view to showing what the different pricing options are for the application. Now, there are currently two tiers available. There's a free tier and a professional one. There's also a tier for Teams that's coming soon. So if that's of interest to you, then keep an eye out. Now for this screencast, as with the majority that I do, I will be showing you the full functionality of the professional tier. So the free tier is definitely useful, but it could be a little bit restrictive. You're limited to 1000 blocks. Now a block is essentially a component of a page. And when we look at one of the sample pages, I'll run through all of the terminology. And the pro version, of course, has unlimited blocks. The exporting is limited on the free version. You can sync across all devices, which if you use your iPads and or iPhone as well as a Mac, that's crucial. And Markdown is supported in line on the free version as well. Now the professional subscription is $3.75 per month if you purchase a year up front, or it's $4.99 on a monthly rolling basis. And this includes all of the features that are highlighted here. Now, if you'd like to look at a side by side comparison of the tiers, then scroll a little further down the page and we can see differences in storage limits, differences in backup history. And moving further down, the differences between both of those tiers is clear. So before you make a decision, obviously check this page out, make sure that you're informed and take out the option that you think is best. And then when you've decided to download the application, this has to be done via the Mac App Store. So you'll click this link to download and open. Now I've already downloaded it to save a little bit of time because we've got a lot to go through. So I'm just going to open it for the first time. OK, I've opened Craft and we're presented with a little display of recommendations and comments from users on what they think of the application. I'll click Get Started though to move on. And I'm presented with a login page. Now, you may notice that I didn't show you how to sign up for Craft via the website, and that's because you can simply do it from here. Now the email address that I'm going to type in here is one that I've already used on another machine. So I've registered and I've already got my professional plan. However, when you type in your email address for the first time here or click continue with Apple, you'll get a six digit code email to you. Simply enter this. And if you haven't already registered, then your account will be created on the free tier and you can upgrade to the pro tier via the application. Now I'm just going to pause, go into my email and get the code. OK, I've just received the code. I'm going to enter it. And next, I need to confirm the name that will appear when I share content. So it is possible to share your content with other people. In fact, collaboration is a big feature of Craft. So I'll click continue and my documents are pulled down and I'm presented with the Craft interface. Now let's spend a minute or so just looking around the screen here at what we have before we start diving into how a document is created. So up here in the top left, we have my profile. And from here, I can go into the preferences for my account, the subscription plan and the application. And I can also create a new space, which is where I can set up an environment to collaborate with others. And we cover both of those later. Then below this, we have some links to content. So here we have all documents. And then below that, any that we've starred as favorites will appear here. And there is also an inbox which will house any documents that have not yet been sorted into folders. And speaking of folders, these are just below in this section here. And to create a new one, I'll just click on this plus button. And I need one to keep some of the documents in for this screencast. So I'll call this demo for screencast. I can change the icon for this as well. So if I click on this link here, a list of emojis appears and there are a lot here to choose from. Certainly far too many to scroll down and, and find what I like. So I'll type something in the search field here, I'll type video. And this filters the list down a lot for me. I'll select this one here, then click select and then create. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. 
Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.